everybody, Paul here. You got any scratches on your car you're not sure how to fix? Well, I kind of found this over at uh, the hardware store, so I'm going to give it a shot. So, touch up pin time. That's a good scratch. And that's going to be our baby. That's what we're testing. What I have is a duplicate color scratch and fix all. It's a little pin I got down at the hardware store. Uh, you can color match this based off the VIN number on your vehicle. Uh, this this truck, as you've seen in any of my other videos, 97 Chevy S10. It belongs to my son, and uh, we're doing a lot of work on it. And uh, there's a lot of little dinks and scratches and stuff, and we're just trying to figure out a way to kind of clean that up and not have such an obvious uh, paint problem but uh, we've tried some different things and uh, this is one of them and so if I can get this thing out of here see if it's gonna come up there it goes okay so there's what it looks like uh, when I color matched this I color matched it based off of the code that was on it and uh, I ended up having to go back I could just take a color code off the truck because it's from 97 and I actually looked it up on the internet um, the color description kind of varied over several years there so this is pretty much the right color which is called a uh, victory red uh, for a 97 Chevy S10 uh, a couple years earlier I think they were calling it apple red um, but you know you can look up the color code on on the internet there's plenty of sites out there that give that to you and then you just go down to the hardware store you can get one of these color pins uh, it's kind of cool it's got a little scraper um, really not sure what the purpose of that is outside of just to level out an area where there's a scratch uh, then you got you can do it as a pin or you should be able to uh, unscrew this thing somewhere along the line here what's this okay now that's the that's not the pin oops trying to figure it out it won't do it theoretically there's supposed to be a paintbrush down in the bottom of this thing and you see here it says it says right there twist for a paintbrush twist for finish yet I twist and I can't get the, can't get the dang thing open stunt double I need a stunt double it has a little tab right there it says open here so we'll see what that means cool <gasps> instructions Oh, and they won't come off. Where's the fun in that? All right, so my stunt double's off today. I want to see if I can open this thing. Oh my god! All right. Doesn't say which way to turn it. Okay, so we're not using the paintbrush because this one won't open. Go figure, huh? Oh, well. um, but. Uh, and then you have, obviously you can unscrew this, and that's your clear coat finish that you use at the end to cover it up. Like I said, I, I've tried this a couple times, uh, not the most successful thing. It does take a little bit of practice, but uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. And the other thing I've kind of noticed is whenever they do this stuff on TV, they always use white. You ever notice that? Uh, they use white and they try and make that work. So we're gonna give this a shot and see if it works. This is my scratch right in here. Right here and it's got kind of a raised edge I really still haven't figured out what the purpose of this is I've kicked this tip I've watched a few videos on it but not a lot of luck I think I'm just gonna even out the the lip the edge so it's, it doesn't have any kind of raised areas I'm not gonna get crazy with it I tried this once before I got a little wild with it and it just created a mess and then this pen became useless so once I do that, kind of cleaned out the spot, should be able to just take the pin and uh, paint it nice and even. You want to be careful not to push it around too much. You want to fill it in. 
push down it'll release the, the paint just kind of fill it in and lift up try not to get too crazy with it once it starts to dry you're gonna start to see the indent still you'll see the little spot where where it was things that you didn't get exactly 100% right Oops, see, there I go, I kind of made a mess. So, it's always good if you got some way to balance your hand. Because if you're not careful, the paint will gum up. And like I said, you just make, you start making a mess. And the best thing to do is not to play with it too much. Let it get in there, let it dry. You want to come back for another coat, come back for another coat. And then I like to I like to wipe the tip of the pen off on my finger just before I close it. Otherwise um, it's gonna make it's gonna kind of clog up the the application tip. Now I don't know if you can see this or not, you probably can, but you can still see the scratch. All I've done is fill in the, uh, the scratch with some with some paint. Okay, so um, you know you let it dry, maybe come back do another application. But the trick, and I, I've got a couple more scratches here, is is just kind of hold your hand. You can see this scratch right here, a little dent. So I'm just going to support my hand here, put it up against the side of the vehicle, and I'm going to support this. And I'm just gonna, it, you got to push this pin in and it releases a little bit of paint. And that's all you gotta do. I mean, a little bit of practice, and this thing is good as gold. You know, those are gonna be high, and you can come back, and you can kinda soften it up, touch it up. This stuff dries really fast, so once again, once you get up, once you get this, when you're done with the pin, kinda wipe off that tip so it doesn't you know that way you can use it again all right it's sat for a few minutes it's it's dried I did such a good job I don't even know if you can see it on camera and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna kind of level it out a little bit and I'm gonna put another application on once again make sure the pin is clean the tip the tip of the pins got it let's see if you can you see that that tip So here we go. I'm gonna just fill that spot in again. As easy as I can. Gonna fill that in best I can. Oops. There we go. Just do everything I'm telling you not to do. And then clean off that tip. Get all that paint off there. Let that sit for a couple minutes. See what it does. Should be filled up enough. Once it does, maybe just kind of scrape it off a little bit. Put some clear coat on it, which is this little guy here. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so you can see it. Trying to flatten it out a little bit, kind of get it to be at least at the same level. Then take this guy, just touch it up. All I'm trying to do is put a little protective coat on it.
voila. So there you have it, a Duplicolor uh, paint pen. It's really not that bad. It's not that hard to use these things, but uh, you know, it's uh, takes a few times to get it down. If you sit there and you dabble into the the scratch and you you can make a mess of it real quick. I trust me, I've done that a few times. Uh, it's not a bad tool, but uh, you know, just if you got a few scratches, it's okay. It, it, you know, when they they show it with the white paint, it makes it look real easy. Uh, it does take a steady hand. Um, Obviously, I couldn't get the uh, the top off to to get to the paintbrush, but uh, supposedly there's a paintbrush in there. So, uh, not bad. Worked on my kid's truck. Don't think I'll be using it on the vet anytime soon, but, you know, hope this helps. If you like this video, I uh, appreciate all your support. Uh, you know, you could subscribe up at the top. Probably, probably going to be over here right now. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other videos to watch. Appreciate that. And uh, your comments are really appreciated. It helps us put together better videos. Now that the holidays are kind of coming to an end, uh, we're looking to get back to work on all these vehicles that we have. I've been on the road for a few weeks, so that's made it a bit difficult to keep the videos cranking. Uh, but we're going to be back on that soon. So uh, we'll talk to you soon, and uh, enjoy.